All right. I slapped my sister on Christmas Eve. I don't believe this. I don't believe this at all. Dear Billy Bitch Tits, I'm Bitch Tits and you slapped a woman? Um, hey, Billy, recently my family celebrated my dad's birthday, which is on Christmas Eve. And like every year, we went to a local Mexican restaurant. My mother bought him a very expensive bottle of Middleton triple distilled Irish whiskey. Never heard of that shit. I uh, hope I said it right. Which we proceed to drink once we return to my parents' house. All right. How many of you are on this bottle? And there's a woman slapped in the end of this. Jesus Christ. This is like a fucking country music video. Once we were back, my sister, who's 30, asked if she could collect pictures of us as little kids. She could make an album. I see. I knew exactly where some great ones were of her as a baby in my mother's drawer where she, my mother, had previously shown me. Um, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen in this thing or if it's even a true story, but I'm already saying at some point somebody should have said fair enough before somebody gets slapped. Okay, he goes, my sister has a different father than I, and from what I gather, her dad was a not-so-great guy, and my mother doesn't seem to have any fond memories of that relationship. Um, okay, I presented the pictures to her, expecting her to have either seen them before or to be thrilled to be seeing them for the first time. The pictures were of her and her father with my mother's family. Um, I'm getting lost here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. You guys have the same mom, but different dads. Okay. Also her birth certificate was in the certificate was in the envelope, which she apparently, which apparently she had never seen. She's 30. And she never had to produce a birth certificate. When she saw them, she freaked out. She began to berate my mother for never showing them to her, and a full-blown fight ensued. Of course, I was mortified. I had no idea this was going to happen. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here, sir, and I say at this moment, this is not about you anymore, okay? I mean, she didn't have a good relationship with her dad. This could be, you know, something that she needed or something. This seems to be between her and her mom and if you're going to go third man in that's a game misconduct and i would say a fucking 10 game suspension at least uh she said horribly hurtful things to my mother and tried to storm out once i stepped in and tried to stop her oh shit now you're doing that thing so women need this product too fuck i'd make a zillion dollar the male or female person remover how ignorant am I that I never thought that a woman ever had to fucking try to get through the door with some fucking asshole guy standing? My apology to all the ladies. All right. Once I stepped in and tried, uh, once I stepped in and tried to stop her, she began to attack me and shout out everything that was wrong with me and my life. I defended myself, yelling back all the fucked up shit she's done. Um, that's not defending yourself, sir. What you did was you went to her emotional level. What she should have done was just laid on the fucking ropes, let her go, and then afterwards she would have owed you an apology. Uh, anyways, he goes, then with my... This is, this is why you don't go home for the holidays. This shit always ends up happening. Then with my mother and father there, she charged me and punched me square in the eye with this insane look on her face. Well, she wanted to leave and you weren't letting her. I was trying to keep her at arm's length and telling myself over and over, don't hit her. The final straw came when, with both my parents trying to hold her back, she managed to kick me in the face with her boots on. Aren't you standing up? How the fuck did she do that? Oh, they held her back and that gave her leverage? Or, or is she like Anderson Silver and she just gave you that front up kick that you didn't see? Whatever the fuck you call it in MMA terms. Then I proceeded calmly and coolly to pick the exact moment when to reach in and give her an open palm slap right across the whole left side of her face. You did that calmly and coolly. Oh, Jesus. She immediately stopped her tirade and went in her car to pout. Wow, dude. <laughs> you slapped her in the face. I don't think she's pouting. She later chilled out and fell asleep on the sofa, Christmas being tomorrow. I need your help. Did I do the wrong thing, and how can I keep things from being fucked up? from here on out thank you and go fuck yourself did you do the wrong thing you slapped a woman yes i mean she's coming at you with a knife then yeah you can go close fisted at that point but i mean <laughs> all she was trying to do was leave um here's the thing dude she had 
a valid reaction to something that really hurt her. And in her pain, she said a bunch of mean things to her mom. All right? Now, she comes from a broken home. I mean, this shit's going to happen during the fucking holidays. You're fucking drunk on whiskey, right? You guys, are, from what I can tell, there's only two of you on that bottle, maybe three or whatever. But, you know, three, four people killing a bottle of whiskey, you're all going to be hammered. All right? Um, then she wanted to leave. Now, if she's drunk and she wants to drive, that's one thing. You did not put that in there. If she just wanted to leave to go be by herself, there's nothing more frustrating than when you're hurt and you're emotional and you want to leave a room and people won't let you leave. It's fucking annoying. All right? If she has no history of trying to hurt herself, she's not drunk. You got to let her leave. Um, The fact that you just said you calmly, coolly waited for the fucking exact moment to reach in and slap her across the face means you contemplated this shit. It's not like she hit you and then you reacted um, and did it. You made the decision. You thought about it and you waited for them. So that went from like fucking second degree to first degree. Um, So yeah, no, you didn't do the right thing and you should... I would feel terrible if I fucking did that. Um, And how can you stop things from being fucked up from here on out? Uh, Well, I would sit down and I would just keep playing over and over again how it escalated. And you kind of zigged every time you should have zagged and just try to think of what you can do the next time. But uh, calmly, coolly, picking the exact moment to slap your sister in the face on Christmas Eve is, yeah, I would say you you did the wrong thing. I mean, like I said, literally, unless she was literally going to be doing physical harm to, uh, well, I guess she hit you. God, that's so fucked up. I'm not even thinking that. She kicked you in the face and she did all of that type of stuff. Um, I still got to say, because they were holding her back. It's just one of the things that women get to get away with. They get a they get to get away with the salt and batter, and you, you're like, you shouldn't fucking hit them. But how fucked up is it that even as a guy, I wasn't even validating the point that she kicked you in the face and uh, punched you square in the eye with an insane look on her face? I think it's very easily for me to be sitting here in bed, not emotionally invested in any of this, to say whether the fuck you did the right thing or the wrong thing. Um, you know, you got a, uh, your family's going through a fucked up time. You threw alcohol in there and some old fucking pictures and, uh, you know, your sister, you know, puts her hands on you and you hit her back. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I would have to look. Maybe because you said you calmly and coolly picked the exact moment when to reach out. I don't know. Maybe that's what fucking threw me off. But like, if this all went down in like fucking three seconds, uh, you know, I think you guys all need some fucking group therapy. Um, all I can say is I'm glad I wasn't there. <clears throat> I'm glad I wasn't at that party. <laughs> That's all I can say about that one. However, I do feel that I owe you an apology for judging your actions without even taking into consideration that you took two hits to the head, to the face. You hit me in the face, right? Um, and, you know, I've seen women like that and I know how hard they punch and kick and all that shit and they have no fucking concern for the fact that they're wearing shoes and they kick you in the face or just that you know they weigh over 100 pounds and who wants to get hit by somebody who weighs 100 pounds right in the fucking face you don't and that the natural reaction to getting hit is to hit back and they got that whole well because i'm a girl you can't do it yet i can just fucking break all the fucking rules and you know it's 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 one of the things but you know something i Maybe that's just one of the one of the perks you get for being a woman. You know, they got to have their period every month. They got to go through fucking labor. You know what I mean? They got to get all those free drinks. They always get the house during a divorce. I mean, there's a lot of things that they have to go through that maybe maybe it's okay that they can hit us. I have no fucking idea. Um, all I know is that you know if a woman ever hits you, you just you just fucking walk away. You just walk away, and um, if they're not related to you, you just end the relationship. Like, this is over. Yeah, you know. Are you coming back to... Are you going to get me a gift now? What am I, I'm, I'm like the battered woman now. I'm like, oh, she's usually not like that. She shuts a good person. Go fuck yourself. Over. Um, all right, so what do I do if I... Okay, did I do the wrong thing? And how can I keep things from being fucked up? 
from here on out. Um, okay, this is what, the first thing you can do. I would not drink whiskey around volatile family members. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I would try to be the sober person. I think if you were more sober, I'd, I probably wouldn't have done that. Or at the very least, you would have saw the punch coming. Sounded like she threw a straight right. You know, she should have been able to slip that, you know. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Sorry that that happened. And, uh, you know, I don't know. You guys have kind of evened out. She hit you twice. You only hit her once. Eh, maybe that's fair. Who the fuck knows? I don't fucking know. But I, I don't I don't buy into that whole chivalry thing that, you know, that you know, once somebody starts swinging on you, it's, they've 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 fucking, you know, they've waived all rights of chivalry and uh and rules between the sexes in my own opinion but like it's the fa- it's but for the guy though is is if he reacts immediately i give you a pass but the fact that you thought about it it still should come back to even though she deserves it she's still a lady and then you don't i mean personally i could i could uh well i guess you never say never but i've never run into that and i've had a lot of women hit me i mean i'm an asshole I've had a lot of women hit me. Uh, I've had women throw shit at me. Um, but it's never, uh, it's never gotten to that point where I, 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 would, I, I couldn't do that. It's like hitting a fucking kid or a dog or some shit, you know? I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like an animal. They're defenseless, you know what I mean? Unless it's like Ronda Rousey who's fighting this fucking weekend, everybody. You know, if look, if, you, if you're... There's a question for you. If you're dating someone who is... Not just takes karate or fucking MMA shit is actually in the UFC. Then what does that become? You know what I mean? If she fucking hits you, say you survive that. <laughs> oh god, there's not a woman who's even remotely thought about getting into the UFC that couldn't kick the shit out of me. I can't imagine fighting one that was actually in the UFC. That'd be fucking hilarious. Then later they're apologizing as I have a stake over my eye. (laughs) I'll make it up to you, freckles. (laughs) 